today I wanted to get into something that I think we've all heard from I've heard it since the time I started shooting. And that phrase is, everyone is a photographer. And I know if you've been doing this for any period of time, everybody has told you this. Everyone is a photographer and the market is saturated and you shouldn't do photography because anybody with a camera can do basically what you can do. And that's a bunch of, I don't think I can curse earlier on in the video. So that's a bunch of nonsense. So what I wanna get into is five reasons why that phrase is complete nonsense. Reason number one, skill and knowledge. knowledge. These are intangible things that you can't buy at Best Buy. You can't order from B&H. You can't open in a box. These are things that you're going to learn with time. And if you're a photographer that and you're worth anything close to what you're charging, it doesn't matter that everyone can go out and buy a camera because the skill and knowledge that you possess is different than everyone else. My experience is different than your experience. It's different than somebody else's experience. We all have different experiences. And based off of that, we're going to offer a different type of service to our couples, to our clients, to whoever hires us, or if you're even just shooting for free. So the skill and the knowledge that you bring is going to be different and it's going to give a different flavor and a different brand than what anybody else is offering and if somebody just picked up a camera it, it doesn't matter they're not going to have the skill and the knowledge that you have don't get so hung up on everyone being a photographer focus on being the best photographer that you can be reason number two why everyone is a photographer and that doesn't matter is consistency and quality now, I am extremely adamant about consistency being a really big part of our brand because when somebody hires TNK Photo, they know exactly what they're gonna get, whether it's myself, whether it's anybody from our team shooting the wedding, the event. This weekend, we had three different weddings. We had nine different photographers out. And if you look at the photos, they all look very, very similar. We have a look, we have a brand, that is something that somebody that just picked up a camera is not going to understand how to achieve. So yeah, maybe somebody bought a Rebel or bought whatever entry level Sony there is. It doesn't matter. That's not really going to affect us because we know we are at a different level. That's what this is the main takeaway from this video is guys, don't believe the bullshit. If you know what you're doing, everyone being a photographer, it doesn't matter. You're not aiming to be everybody. You're not aiming to be average or below average. So everyone being a photographer, it's, it's inconsequential to what we do. So to reiterate, consistency and quality, giving consistent photos, consistent product time after time, giving quality product time after time, service, all that, that's what's gonna set you apart from somebody that just started photography. And this isn't shitting on people who are starting photography. God bless you, it's a long road ahead of you and it's gonna be fun, enjoy the ride. Another thing that goes against everybody's a photographer is specialization and expertise. So like I said in the first portion of this video, the expertise that you have, the brand that you have will set you apart. Specialization will also set you apart. There was a wedding I shot, 11, I think it was like 11 years ago now, I brought a fashion photographer to second shoot with me. If I went into the fashion world, I know that I would be pretty lost. Could I figure it out? Yes, but you would know that that's not my arena. When he was second shooting for me, he did a great job. The photos, they turn out great. The couple's extremely happy with their wedding, all that, but I could tell he was a little bit of a fish out of water. So specializing in a certain field is gonna set you apart from other photographers. It's definitely gonna set you apart from somebody that's starting out and is just dabbling in everything versus you who specializes in your genre, in your style of photography. So that's another one, specialization, expertise, bringing something to the table that nobody else is bringing and also hyper focusing on what you do. When somebody asks me what I do, I say I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. And then I usually sprinkle in anything that has to do with people we can probably take care of. That encompasses graduations that are coming up, that also takes care of families, that takes care of anything with people, pretty much except for newborns. And I always, I do mention newborns I don't that we don't do, but we will recommend you somebody because we never wanna be a dead end. We always wanna give options. And then equipment and resources. Let's be honest, when you're starting out, you know, you may be calling yourself a photographer, but you don't have all the resources that you need. And I'm talking about resources with the people that you know. Like for example, if God forbid one of our photographers can't make it because they're sick in a certain day, we have 12, 14 other people on our team that we can call and they can step in and make sure that our couples are taken care of. If a lens breaks in the middle of a shoot, most of us are shooting on Sony, we can back each other up and give each other lenses and get through the day. And another thing, like recently, Scott got his, uh, one of our team members got his equipment stolen from their car, right in front of their house, actually. That's a video for another day about insurance. But we all came together and he was able to shoot the jobs that he needed until he was able 
able to replace his equipment. And that's a resource that you build with time. So it's not something that you have from the get go. So surrounding yourself with the right people will give you different resources or it may just be referrals or anything like that. We get referrals from other photographers all the time. So just having that, it takes time. And somebody that just started photography, they, they're not going to have that. So everyone being a photographer, it, it doesn't really mix in all these other elements. And like I was saying with equipment, the equipment that we have, we use professional grade equipment, not because we want to be out there flexing on people, but because we want to have the tools that make our job the easiest they possibly can be. Again, everyone being a photographer, that's not necessarily the case if you're coming out here with an entry level camera and a kit lens. It's just not going to give you the same ease of of use as using, let's say, an A9 or an A7 IV and a 35 to 150, those things are gonna be way easier to shoot with than a kit lens and a, and a kit camera. And then the last one, why you know people can say everyone's a photographer, but your artistic vision is gonna be different than everybody else. I draw inspiration from music videos, I draw inspiration from movies and the type of movies that I watch. So I was recently watching Fight Club. Definitely when I'm shooting, I'm thinking of those dark, moody scenes and things like that. Is that the way that we shoot weddings the entire time? Absolutely not. We give people some variation, but those influences definitely give me a different artistic vision than they would somebody that's watching, let's say Disney movies, or is watching something that's a little bit more less angry. <laughs> <laughs> so your artistic vision is something that nobody can take away from you. And that's something that you build with time. So when you guys get nervous out there, or if you're starting photography and people are telling you don't do it because everyone is a photographer, don't worry about that. Don't worry about the noise. As long as you believe in yourself and that you are going to put in the work, get to work. It's going to be hard as a motherfucker. I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, everyone can be a photographer. No, everyone can do it. Just like everyone can have a six pack, but not everyone does because it takes work, it takes time, it takes dedication, it takes the it takes knowledge, it takes all these things combined will make you a better photographer. So when we, I mean, I hear it from time to time still to this day. Yeah, everyone's a photographer. I'm like, yeah, that doesn't concern us because somebody that's gonna spend $500 on their wedding photos wasn't gonna hire us to begin with anyway. So they weren't our competition. That's like me walking into the gym, another gym analogy. And I mean, I don't give a fuck what anyone does at the gym anyway, but that's like somebody walking in and they're curling tens. Like, what do I care? I'm not gonna be on that side grabbing those weights. Do whatever you want on that side. I'm gonna be on this side like Popeye eating my spinach and, and curling the 50s. So it's it's not about, I know what a lunkhead I sound like right now, but you guys get the, the analogy. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Everyone's a photographer and it doesn't fucking matter because you are gonna be better than the competition and you're gonna be at the top 10%. That's what you should be aiming at because you should never get into anything to be mediocre or be in the middle. That's all I have to say about that. As Forrest Gump said, if you guys made it to the end and you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Last I checked, we were 2,999 and, and that 3,000th subscriber just didn't want to come through for us. So if you guys would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. We're going to be posting a ton more content in the near future. And if there's anything that you specifically want to watch, leave a comment below. I'm always happy to respond. If you're a little rude, I'm going to be rude right back. Some of you dickheads from the last one. <laughs> Some of you people who posted on the last one know that. I listen, if you're respectful, I'm going to respect you too. If you're not, I'll answer it the same way. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Bye guys.